These are the plaintiffs, Diane and Kevin. Diane says Kevin took their seven-year-old mini poodle Lola for a walk, and all hell broke loose when the defendant's pit bull escaped her house and attacked. Before they knew it, Lola was in the defendant's beast of a dog's jaw, and he was shaking her with the intent of killing her. Thankfully, Lola played dead, and he let go. So they rushed her to the vet where she needed surgery. The defendant refuses to take responsibility. They are here to teach her a lesson about civic duty and are suing for the $2,724.52 they're owed in vet bills. This is the defendant, Karina Vidal. She says the plaintiff's dog was peeing on her lawn, and her dog got out of the house and went over to introduce himself and show the little dog whose house it was. Her dog never attacked the plaintiff's dog. There was no blood. There was no biting and no fight. The plaintiffs are overreacting. They're looking for a big payday over a minor mishap, and there's no way she's shelling out all that dough to them. She's accused of losing control. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiffs took their mini pool Lola for a walk and the defendant's pit bull attacked so hard, Lola would have died except for playing dead. Now the defendant says Lola peed on her lawn and her dog went after to show who's boss. It's the case of the poodle who played wet noodle. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Diane and Kevin, who was out there when this happened? I was, Okay, tell me what happened. It was about eight o'clock in the morning. My dog and I went out for a walk. And she's, what kind of dog is it? She's a miniature poodle. How about, big is she? She's about 15 pounds, Okay. seven years old. I have her on a leash. It's a six foot long leash, so she's never far from my body when we walk. I had gone to take a step when I was in front of the defendant's house. I was unable to because of what was going on behind me, which was a large dog, a pit bull in this case. So you didn't hear the dog I coming out? I did not out. hear like a you just... thing. I did not see or hear. It was... Was the, the, was the pit bull on a leash attached to a person? No. There was okay. no person around, no leash. Okay. I, as I turned, I, between just pivoting and the shock, I did lose my balance. I ended up face down in the apron of her driveway, a little bit into the street. For a brief wow. moment, the dog dropped her. Okay. He came around. He was at my face. So I continued to lie there, which gave him the chance to pick her up and violently shake her a second time. It was during that second attack that the defendant came out and was able to pull her dog. Well, how did you him. first learn that something was wrong? Because I hear my dog barking outside. We were behind the we have our entrance door for the kitchen where the dog was with his leash on. He has a double metal leash. So Who was holding on to the leash? He is on, tied on the pull of the entrance of the house. So how did the dog get loose? He was pulling his chain and he go out of. How did he get out? That's something that I can't uh, explain it because that's a wire, it's a double wire chain. Well, it's not a very good one. It's not I a very know, good I... way to contain a pit bull then, right? No, but he's no. So what's just... the defense though? According to you, then your dog got loose and yeah. your dog mauled another dog. So what would be your defense? Well, my defense, it would be if she said that wanted to talk to his little, her little dog, right? So right now she will be suiting me for a cremation, no for a uh, bill. I'm sorry, what is it you're saying? She will be You're saying that if your dog wanted to attack her dog, yeah, then she would, would be, be here a, suing for a cremation? Yeah, that's that's, that's be... that little gem of sarcasm? That's what no, you were just saying? No, what I'm trying to... That's like my, 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 my domestic violence defendants who say, if I had a hit her judge... <laughs> no, because he... She would be in the no, hospital no, no. with a broken nose. No, no, nose. no, no. Mis 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 misunderstood my words. What I'm trying to tell you is that he really wants to attack. He would be charged... I don't care if your dog no, wanted to play cards. Be, if your dog ended up injured... <laughs> no, but I don't care. You seem to think... Dogs are proper. It's not the dog we punish, it's the owner who let go of the dog we were and there. let their dog run free. No. Do you deny that the dog attacked the dog? It wasn't attacking. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, if you see the size of this dog, with that, my medium-sized dog, and I, after the thing happened, I saw her, I talked to her because we were like this, and she was okay. The dog has a light co color. It was no blood dripping, no skin hanging, no nothing. So you don't feel your dog punctured their dog in any way? He just to, tends to do this. 
And obviously, I'm sorry, but she says your dog bit her dog. Are you saying that your do dog you, didn't do, bite her dog? If, if really my dog will bite her dog, a this size dog, he will be covered in blood. He will not. Is this a picture of your dog after the vet handled the dog's injuries? That's a. That's a picture That's of my dog. That's a scar dog. all the way from her back to her belly. And there's two drainage tubes, one on the back, one you can't see How in that picture. How many features the dog has? I'm sorry. I'm showing you this so that your ridiculous statement that your dog didn't harm her dog. I didn't see any blood. Oh, I well, you like... see it now? Now do you see it? Do you now see? I can see... Uh, now I see Yeah, that looks pretty has... bad, right? Like, if it was your dog, you wouldn't want your dog to suffer this, right? Uh, right? Hello? Of course not. So does it make sense the defendant saying, oh, you have a dog, so um, it, it, that the defendant saying, oh, if my dog wanted to kill your dog, it would kill it, so it couldn't have hurt. I don't think it makes any sense. So a dog could attack and not kill and still be vicious? <laughs> yes, for sure. That's what I think. How are you dogs, by the way? My dogs are the sweetest If I ever. bend down, I'm not going to get bit? Uh, Let. Well, he might, but he Oh, great. <laughs> Back in the courtroom. OK. Well, now let's discuss the damages. Did you end up calling animal control? Yes, I do have a police report. Um, what did I, animal control do? They they took a statement from me, and they also took a statement from the That's defense. That's it? They didn't do anything? Um, they went into my house, looked at the dog, they pet him, and they see that he's friendly. They asked me what happened, and I explained that to her, to them, and they say, well... I'm sorry, Animal. the whole purpose of animal control is that the dog got loose. They're supposed to find you. They didn't make you pay no, a ticket. No, no. That's the whole point of having animal control. You have a pit bull that is not fixed. And they recommended that you have the dog fixed to reduce its aggression. Did that end up happening? Just curious. Who recommended that? Nobody I'm reading me. it in the animal control report. Has the dog been fixed or no? No. OK. It also says that you told animal control, that's probably why everything went so well at animal control, that you would be paying the vet bills, and that he put you, two of you in contact. Did you tell animal control that you would be paying the vet bills? No, I was assuming that because I didn't see any blood or anything. I'm sorry. And here he said that Ms. Vidal said she understood the estimated $3,000 in damage and would work with Ms. Diane with the bedding. Yeah. I, I gave Ms. Diane the phone number for Ms. Vidal and told her what I was told by Ms. Vidal regarding. So why did you lie to Animal Control and say you'd pay the bill? No, Animal Control never talked to me about. Did you tell Animal Control that you would pay the vet bills? The, yes, because I was Then why are you, have you not paid the vet bills? Why do they have to sue you to get you to pay the vet bills? Because I wasn't assuming that it would come into a large amount of money. I'm sorry. According to that same animal control officer who you said didn't tell you anything and now told me yes, no, he no, did. No, they didn't he say anything He says he about told no. you it was 3000 because the no. vet bills were already no. incurred at this point. No. How they can tell me that if that thing happened the same day? Because she had already... When, did you wait a few days to bring the dog to the vet or did you bring <laughs> the dog over right away? I'd be happy By to. then, Diane had already been speaking to the person, and they knew. That's why it's in the report. It's actually in the report. Yeah, but I spoke with the official. OK, Ms. Vidal, you are full of excuses. And I don't like that, because I don't mind. I do mind. But it is understandable if an accident happens and a dog gets away from you, OK? So that's not why you look like a bad guy here. The reason you look like a bad guy is because you are dishonest. You get out of getting fined by animal control by being super cooperative and saying you realize it's your fault. I know the vet bills are high. I know that they're in the 3,000 range, but I'm going to work to pay it. I mean, in fact, according to you, she worked out a payment plan, right? That's correct. With you directly. Correct. Oh, so she knows how much the vet bills are. And how much of that payment plan did she pay? Nothing, thank okay. you. Okay, no, 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 no. Not even a dollar? Not even Not a even dollar. five dollars? Nothing. Yes. I sent her a self-addressed stamp envelope, in fact, to make it easier for her to send the first payment. That didn't happen, no. No. See, that's what makes you look bad here. Yeah. Verdict for the plaintiffs, $2,724.52. I'm sorry this happened to your dog. I, I'm sorry that there are irresponsible pet owners who, who do not have control over their pit bull, but I'm even sorrier that after it happens, there's this. So the plaintiffs are going to get the money for the vet bills. Ms. Vidal, 
I don't know about you, but uh, if I were you, I'd feel really embarrassed about now. How do you feel? I don't feel embarrassed because, you know, I understand the situation. I understand what happened. But also there are a couple of things that are out of my control, like with the leash outside of the house, but it was inside my property. And I'm so sorry what happened. But I didn't see, honestly, at that moment, at that point, any, you know, dripping blood or anything. But, but you promised to pay them. Yeah, but the thing You promised is, to yeah, pay. I know that I, I promised to Why pay. Why didn't you? Because I, I can't explain right now my economical situation or my personal situation that I didn't the, let me pay the bill. It's the judge not because says I didn't you're want very it. dishonest. No, it's not that dishonest. Because yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Because, you promised to pay, you didn't. Yeah, but the thing is, as I said before, I'm not here to discuss with you my personal. Look, you know. I know. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. You got to pay one. it. Take care. You got to pay it. Okay. Diane and Kevin are on their way out of the courtroom right now. Boy, strange, strange, strange. Indeed, we're just happy that we uh, got the verdict. We haven't heard. How is Lola? Lola, thankfully, made a full recovery. She it, has. It was a scary, scary day for her. The us. picture made it look pretty serious. And which it was. Um, yeah, I'd stay away from her neighborhood. We, we will haven't. Do that. We haven't been down that street. <laughs> Good. Since. Good for you. All right. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. All right. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, Doug, I mean, if you have a problem with an irresponsible pet owner, call the Department of Animal Control. They will handle it. Hey, what's up? 